welcome back to the Men of Victory weekly encouragement video. Hey, I just want to say thank you guys. You guys uh, sharing the video, liking it, uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel is really making a difference. It's really encouraging me because I have a lot of fun making these videos each week and introducing you to the different guys of the church. And so uh, I'm excited for this week's video. So let's get into it. Grab your Bible, uh, grab your notebook, and let's get into this week's weekly word of encouragement from the Men of Victory. All right, this week's word of encouragement comes out of Hebrews chapter 3, verse 12 and 13. And Paul is talking to the, the church about the warning against unbelief, how it starts to creep in when we're not surrounded by each other. And it says in verse 12, See to it, brothers and sisters, that's you and I, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. See, we're not called to turn away from our God. We're not called to turn away from our Father who created us, who saved us, who has healed us and set us free. We're not called to turn away from that. But encourage, in verse 13, one another daily as long as it's called today so that none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. And really what I hit home on this is the enemy wants to isolate us. The enemy wants us to fill our calendars, fill our life with so many activities where we start losing connection. We start losing that, that connection between one man to another. And that's not what God's designed. He did not design us to do this on our own. We need others. We need the strength uh, of you and I to encourage each other to help the body of Christ, to help our lives. And what I really put this is we got to be part of the team. It says, so encourage one another daily as long as it's called today. And with the word today, what that means is to listen and obey. As soon as you understand what the Word of God says and you're saved, that is to obey and listen and be part of what God is doing because the gospel is relevant today. The Bible is very clear. The, our God is the same He was yesterday, He is today, and He will be tomorrow. So when we're part of that team and we help encourage each other, we're picking each other up so we're not isolated to get picked off one by one. I love this, what our pastor, Pastor James, said this many years ago, and it was during an Easter message, and he was saying, good God, bad devil. You see, when we isolate, the devil wants to throw those thoughts into us, and we start believing them. We th start thinking those are truth, but God does not design that to happen. He needs each of us to encourage one another so we are part of a team. And what happens in a team when one person slips up? We're there to pick each other up. There is no I in team. There is a we are in part of the team. So guys, this is really what I want you to do. Man, if you're throughout the week and God puts somebody on your heart, I want you in that moment, send them a text, send them an email, give them a call. The Holy Spirit is telling you, you need to reach out to your brother because he may need that encouragement right now in that moment. I don't know how many times I've had that opportunity where somebody will call me out of the blue and it's exactly what I needed to hear in that exact moment. So guys, this week, Let's encourage one another. Let's be, become a lifestyle of who we are. Let me pray for you. Father God, I thank you for these amazing men. I thank you for the giftings that you put in each and every one of them. Father, we are a team. We are your team. And Father, we're going to win people to your team. And we do this by being part of your team to encourage one another. Father, whatever they're going through right now, Father, I pray encouragement, strength, and the boldness of you to be upon them. And we give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, that was this week's word of encouragement for you. I hope that encourages you this week and gives you some action steps to encourage those around you. So, hey, I just want to highlight a couple of things coming up. First of all, men, we have an, a special night of ministry, a special night out coming up on Friday, August 13th. Why am I holding the axe? Because I'm getting ready for the men's night out. We have Axe throwing will be at that night. So you want to invite your friends Friday, August 13th. We're going to be throwing the axes. I'm getting ready because I'm challenging you right now. I don't think you can beat me. I don't think you have what it takes to beat me in axe throwing. The second thing is this Saturday, we have the women's breakfast. So as men, we need to clear the way for our wives, for our moms, that special lady in our life to be able to attend this event. That starts at 9 a.m., free food, great fellowship and encouraging words. So guys, make the way, let our wives have that encouragement, just like we get to do it on our men's night out. So man, guys, thank you so much. Keep being encouraging, keep subscribing, keep sharing. 
the, this to your social media. We are making a difference in men's lives around the world. And guys, I'm just going to continue to practice my axe throwing, and I will see you guys next week for your weekly Word of Encouragement. That one got a little way for me. But I'll be ready for the men's night out. Who will challenge me?